Hello, I'm Colleen Needles. According to the Pew Research Center, 10,000 baby boomers are entering retirement age every day. Now, this staggering pace is expected to continue for the next 20 years, and the demands for quality senior health care will accelerate like never before. New options are being explored to help meet those needs, and here with an overview is Nick Kozel, Vice President of Marketing and Communications for Walker Methodist. And Nick, welcome. Well, thank you for having me. Well, last time we saw you, you were in a role with Comcast, and now you are with Walker Methodist. And tell us a little bit about the organization and the work that you do there. Well, you know, it's interesting because you talked about the need for quality health care. And, you know, Walker Methodist, we do so much more than health care. Mm -hmm. The reality is, as consumers enter 65, 70, 75, while health care is a concern and a consideration, Really what consumers are looking for is to continue to live the same exciting dynamic lives that they've always lived. So health care is an issue, an item, but mm -hmm. uh, just one of many in, in living a full life. So what specifically, what are some of the examples of what baby boomers are expecting of their retirement years? Well, you know, we see that baby boomers are expecting things to be very different for them. Um, it's a, it's a, a great population, a great group of people. And they're looking to continue to live the lives as they've always wanted mm -hmm. to live them. They want the things they've always wanted, the things, they, the things they've always needed, and honestly, the things they've always hoped for. That doesn't change no matter what age your driver's license says you mm -hmm. are. And so we recognize that, and we're, instead of being a guide, as we have been in the past, we're more of a support. Um, you decide what you want to do, and we're there to help you do that. You were saying earlier, people who are marathon runners uh, in their youth continue to be marathon runners in yeah, their retirement years. Absolutely. There's no magic age that you reach where you change being who you are. Yeah. And we are here just to make sure that you can continue to be who you are, and we're here to support you. In that. Is it different from previous generations? You know, it is a little different, and you know, there you know, there are many reasons for that. One of them is uh, the internet. The internet means that people can do a lot more research. They can understand what options they have available, and frankly, they pursue many more options than people had even known existed for people of any age. So, what are some of the things, the models that uh, Walker Methodist and other uh, organizations are looking at to serve the needs of the the new? of retirement age sure. of the baby boomers? You know, that, and that's a great question. And one of the ways that we've changed to adapt to meet consumers where they are and what they're looking for <laughs> is now all of our food service, well, I shouldn't even call it food service because what we have is restaurant quality dining, beautiful sit-down um, restaurant locations in our sites. Um, we don't have cooks anymore. We have chefs. And I don't huh. mean just any old chef. I mean, we have chefs who are trained at, uh, at CIA, for example and some of the great uh, chef schools. And you know, the reality of the days when maybe you could open a can yeah. of peas, they don't exist yeah. anymore. So These expectations have changed. Expectations are much higher, and, and, uh, and like I said, we do everything we can to meet those expectations. How can people support the work that you're doing? You're a nonprofit. We are a nonprofit, <laughs> and that's, that's, that's a very important question for us. Thank mm -hmm. you. Um, as a nonprofit, we do depend on the support from community members. Um, in addition to you know the, uh, the standard revenue sources as a business. Uh, we have on our website a whole section about the foundation. Mm -hmm. If people go to walkermethodist.org, they can find the whole section in, uh, about foundation, ways that they can support us, and the support to, you know, of us really does go to, well, frankly, your mom and your dad and your Absolutely. grandma and your grandfather. So. And us someday and us. as well. Indeed. As well. Well, Nick, thank you. It's good to see you again. Thanks for the work that you're doing. Thank you very we much. We appreciate it. And if you'd like to learn more about the kind of work organizations like Walker Methodist are doing to help provide a healthy and a vibrant future for retiring baby boomers, you're uh, invited to visit their website at walkermethodist.org. You'll find lots of information there and ways that you can participate and donate if you so desire. And that's gonna do it for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Colleen Needles, thank you for watching.